And so the Olympics are here. We're really, really excited about it. We've been hearing so much, but there's a lot that we haven't been hearing that's going on over there. Thankfully, we have a man who is following each and every lead over the pond, joining us live now from London with the mother of all Olympics updates. He is the one, the only. Bill Weir. Bill, how are you, my man? Wow. I am loving the audience response. That is energy I'm feeling across the Atlantic. Thank you, people. Uh, I'm great. Chip, chip, top of the morning. Josh, Laura, good to be with you. It's very exciting. The opening ceremony's about to kick off uh, shortly. I'm not going to spoil it uh, for anybody, but we found some crazy stuff going on here. It's, first, you got to understand, our friends, the Brits, their famously stiff upper lips have been swinging. Uh, it's like a case of, of severe polar uh, schizophrenia. They go from times of supreme <laughs> confidence to times of dire uh, pessimism. They think that, that they'll never build a stadium here in this blighted section of London, and look, there it is. So they start to feel good about themselves, and then the security guards don't show up. So they're riding this roller coaster of emotion. But here this morning, this is the greatest thing. This morning, uh, everybody across England, all the church bells, all people with hand bells, they were going to ring in the moment 12 hours before the start of the game after seven years of work. And Jeremy Hunt, who is the Secretary of State for Culture, Olympics, Media and Sport, was holding a press conference talking about no matter what happens in London, even if something goes amiss, we will rally together and make it good. And then he started to ring the bell. Yes, sir. Oh! oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. it's, like a, it's like a Monty Python. Like they couldn't have written that any better. Uh, the timing of it was brilliant. So I've been meeting with people uh, on the streets. The streets are packed with folks who have traveled many a mile to come to this amazing global village here. And a lot of Americans having a tough time finding tickets. We're going to get into that uh, later on World News and Nightline. But uh, the award for coming the farthest distance, showing the most dedication, is a gentleman from China. Uh, he is a farmer by the name of Chen Guanming. And at the Beijing Games, some British journalists said, hey, why don't you come to our games in four years? And he said, okay, and then got on his bike, and then spent the next three years pedaling thousands of miles across dozens of countries in his three-wheeled rickshaw. He went through Vietnam, he went through, he rode that bike across Pakistan, uh, for crying out loud. He was in uh, freezing temperatures in, in the snow in Turkey, through the floods of Thailand. Uh, he started arranging visas, he was getting contributions from people. He finally showed up here, and he, he doesn't have any way to get into any of the events. So he may end up watching it from a pub. Oh, no! Uh, no but if you're gonna be in a pub, hey. Get in line, Chang, because everybody else <laughs> Just wants to take it. Just because you rode your bike. And, and finally, and finally uh, you remember Basher, the Don Cheadle character in the Ocean's Eleven movies? He spoke with a distinctive Cockney rhyming slang yep. uh, where they say something and it doesn't sound anything like what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Well, the U.S. Uh, athletes, Team USA, is trying to thank their hosts by learning a bit of this slang. Uh, here's a sample. Would you like some John Cheese with your Uncle Fred or just a little bit of talking mutter? Would you like some John Cleese with your Uncle Fred or just a bit of talking mother? <laughs> Would you like some John Cleese with your Uncle Fred or just a bit of talking mother? <laughs> Now, the translation for that, would obviously, like is would you like some bread? cheese with your bread or just a bit of butter? Uh, but you got to give them credit for trying. What does John Cleese have to do with anything? Obviously. Like they run. That's what they it do. It rhymes with cheese. Exactly. See how it that doesn't works. Trust me. I tried to figure it out. <laughs> All right. Hey, Bill, I'll see you on World News uh, in just a bit. And you can join Bill again tonight for Nightline Live from London. His exclusive interview, actual, actually, with First Lady Michelle Obama leading the U.S. delegation. Bill Weir. As always, the Weir Olympics roll merrily along. Amazing. Amazing.